All right, well, first of all, welcome and thank you guys for coming to visit us at the Extended Space Center, which you see in front of you. Uh, if you've never been here before, it's the B-Test Complex. Uh, it consists of two test positions. On the left-hand side is the B-1 side, which is where the uh, RS-68 is tested for the uh, engine is tested for the Boeing Delta IV. And on the right-hand side is the exciting side for us. That's where you can see the uh, SLS core stage. Uh, it's 212 feet tall. Uh, we actually actually lifted in a couple of weeks couple of weeks ago and uh, we're in the process of getting initial testing done to uh, progress this through to green month testing and get this thing in here and out of here so we can get it to the cape to fly um, a little history this test facility was built in the 60s for the first stage of apollo first test on the b2 side was like 1967 and uh, we tested Apollo there, we've tested uh, MPTA, which is the main propulsion test article for shuttle there, and we did a CBC testing for the Delta IV in like 2000, and from there it was mothballed, and uh, we took advantage of it, and we, we are where we are today, getting ready to test the SLS core stage there. Uh, what did I miss, Pete? I think you got it, but I think pretty much Mark covered it all. The stand was abandoned after the last project, which is a common booster core project. Um, what we mean by abandoned mean that we didn't upkeep any of those systems. We kind of let them um, deteriorate in place. Um, some trade was done where it was cheaper just to let it be versus uh, to refurbish it. For this, for this particular project, we refurbished the entire test stand and all the infrastructure with it. Um, so what you see is new piping. Uh, for the water systems, high pressure industrial water systems, and any of the propellant systems, the liquid oxygen or liquid hydrogen system, and the associated ventilation and drain systems. Also, we have new instrumentation systems, or new cabling and power units and power systems, data acquisition systems, are all new. Uh, the structure is pretty much the same. We strengthen in some areas right above the gray section, which we call the battleship area, basically because it was fabricated in a shipyard. And if you look at some of the doors on the inside of the interior of, the, of that structure, it looked like battleship doors, and they are the same as on the ship. So we call it the battleship. Uh, it was used as a hold-down structure also for the Saturn um, F1C. But the structure up above it is the only remaining structure that we have uh, at first level up to that yellow uh, platform in the middle of the core stage. And that structure was moved to the north, 21 feet 6 inches, um, by disconnecting it from that grave structure, putting it on some hydraulic skids and using a well-known dishwashing detergent as a uh, lubricant. And so we slid it that way. Uh, it saves us a lot of schedule, about a year and a half worth of schedule and a lot of money. Uh, and all the structures on top of that grave structure, all the way up to the top of the grave, all new installation. So we got uh, 23 levels and the vehicle itself is 212 feet, as Mark stated earlier. And you can see the nozzle from the bottom in that opening. It's below the gray structure, you can see the bottom of the nozzle all the way to the top. The yellow part which we actually connected the frame to to bring it in. So those two levels in the uh, yellow section with the handrail, those two platforms can come out. And when we swung up the stage, we use the uh, tail crane here and the main derrick. And we did what we call a break hole. And we just kind of throw it up horizontal, give the swing, and then lift it up to the stand. Uh, but basically, it's a whole new stand, a uh, lot of refurbished instrumentation. We did the, uh, what we call special test equipment, special connections for the vehicle itself that's required in the facility. So that's all new. And anything that's being done and being learned by the team is in preparation for launch services over at the Cape. So here at Stem Space Center, we do test support services. And what we're doing with Boeing, who is our prime contractor here, is helping them get the procedures and the processes together so that we can launch over at the Cape. Like Mari probably will tell you, we don't launch here at Stennis. We only test here. We want to hold it down, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so we're working on that with them. And so far, so good. Okay.